All right, guys, Bitcoin coming in 41,698. You guys, we're in the same range we've been in for the last, what, five, six days? I don't know. You know, Bitcoin hit that top of 45,000 and it's kind of been hanging out between 40,000 and 43,000 for the last couple of weeks. Uh, all coins down, I guess, I mean, people are saying all coins are like taking a big dump right now. They're taking a little bit of a pullback, nothing too crazy. Uh, Cardano, 57 cents, XRP, 60 cents. Um, I mean, overall, nothing too crazy. Some altcoins are actually up. You know, I know we've been talking about on the last week on this channel how, you know, the meme coins, they always hit a top first in the cycle. Then when the meme, everybody goes into the meme coins, meme coins are going crazy. Then that's how you can kind of tell we're going to have a, have a pullback and things are going to cool off for a little bit, um, which I agree with. And that's kind of happened. You know, the whole, the whole bonk um, hype last week, you know, people buying those Solana phones and everything, SNEP been pumping, every every uh, every all coin, every meme coin's been pumping. But you know, since Bonk kind of tapered out last week, we have been on a bit of correction. You know, we we are down. All coins are down a little bit. You can't deny that. But it's not like a major 30, 40 percent dump. Now, a lot of people right now are saying, "Oh my God, we're gonna get that 50 percent dump." You know, one guy in my comments put Cardano's going back down to 33 cents. Um, you know, everybody's kind of waiting for a big dump right now. And like, yeah, I mean, we're on a dump right now. We've been on a dump for the last couple of days, but you, you can't be like holding out like, like we're going to get some 80% dump, like, cause odds are we're not going to. And I was even looking like, okay, let's, let's go check out these meme coins because the meme coins, like I said, always indicate a top, like, are these meme coins like completely shitting the bed right now? Like, is that like, are they dumping? And really they're not. I mean, look at Dogecoin, still about nine cents. I mean, you know, that's kind of where Dogecoin's been. Let's look at Bonk. It's still up 71% for the seven day. It's up a little bit today. Okay, in the last 24 hours, it's down 5%. Is that like a big dump to you guys? It's a little bit. You know, I picked up some um, snack yesterday at 17, 0 0.0017. Now it's up today it's up since i bought it and i was thinking to myself when i bought it yesterday you know i made a video yesterday saying i was gonna buy it and um i was thinking you know what i'm probably gonna buy this thing and it's gonna dump like 40 or 50 percent but whatever i'm just gonna do it because like i'm looking for like the next year and now it's up um let's look at some of these others you know a lot of these i'll be honest with you guys a lot of these other meme coins i've never heard of but yeah i mean okay, okay for a lot of these coins over the last 24 hours are down two three five percent you know, some are down 10, 15%, but this isn't like a massive, massive um, meme coin pullback. It's a it's a cooling off. I'll definitely give you what's a cooling off, but it's not like, oh my God, meme coins to the top. Oh my God, going down the roller coaster, everything's crashing 50%. It's just not happening. It could happen, but it's not happening yet. Um, you know, even crypto, I was watching a crypto banter this morning. He's talking about how all the, all the meme coins people are going into and how that usually indicates a top. And I agree with that. Um, play a little bit of it. Here we go. They're also degening into phones with meme coins on them. So now people are buying Solana phones on eBay for six thousand three hundred dollars. You know why? Because they have some bonk on them. So you buy a phone on 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 you buy the Solana phone. It has some bonk on it. So people are now are now uh, they 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 degening into phones. This is where we are in the market. Solana phones are the next board eight. That's what I'm reading here. There are only 21 million Bitcoin and there are 20,000 Solana Saga phones. Solana still has a room to, Saga still has room to grow by a thousand X. One Saga equals $1 million. People are degening into phones. This is where we're at. This Solana phone sold for $5,000 because of the, comes with unclaimed bunk, unopened <laughs> inbox. I mean, get, this is where we're at. This is where we're at. That's crazy. So why am I worried? Because what I do know about meme coins is that meme coins are a very, very, very good indicator of when we're nearing or reaching the top of a cycle within a cycle. Now, I did the research and you can find a lot of this research on CryptoBanter.com, on the CryptoBanter Twitter account. Now, go and follow the CryptoBanter Twitter account. It's an important account to follow because we have a new social media map. Anyway, and my point is, yes, that's true. Meme coins, and it's not really meme coins, guys. It's like little stinky pinkies. I guess there are meme coins, but a lot of the stinky pinkies pump last when we get these 
these tops. Now, it's not the top for the market, like, oh my God, like we've hit a top and now Bitcoin's going back down to $10,000. It's a top within the top of the cycle. So it just means we might have a dump for about a month and then pick back up again. But I'm just not seeing the big dump. It hasn't happened yet. And a lot of people have been calling for it. And if you're noticing the sentiment has changed, every YouTuber's video right now, every big YouTuber's videos, like look at, look at Rayan Nooner's uh, video right now. Warning, this is the beginning of a brutal Bitcoin dump. Now, of course, a lot of that's clickbait, but it's not just him. They're all doing that right now. This time last week, oh my God, we're going to $100,000. And now it's, oh, big brutal dump coming. I just think we're going to get to the point where all this dumb money is waiting for a big old juicy dump. And yeah, we'll, we're getting a pullback. We're getting a pullback, but we might not get that big dump. And like I said, you know, a guy on my comments is talking about, I'm not buying Cardano until it hits 33 cents. Like, I just don't think we're going to get it. I think, I think the market's going to surprise everybody. Now I was looking at Ben Armstrong's Twitter and you know, <laughs> We make fun of Ben Armstrong a lot, but he does have a good gauge in the market. I, I will agree with that. I just don't like all his shilling of scams, but really his gauge on the market and, and his common sense um, on price action isn't all that bad compared to some other guys. He's saying there's basically a 0% chance we get a major sustained downward move until after the ETF news cycle is complete following approvals. The only exception, the black swan event, which you know could be terrorist, uh, COVID number two, you know, whatever, or ETF rejection. Anyone trying to argue the chart that shows bear action is low IQ. I do like the way he talks, but I agree with that. I mean, like, I just can't see us. We have, what, we're, so we're two weeks away from, or three weeks away from possible ETF approval. Yeah, if we don't get that ETF approval, we're definitely going down, guys. We're going down. Bitcoin's going down to 35,000. Cardano's going back to 45 cents. Solana's going back down to $50, XRP, you know, whatever the fuck, 50 or a cents or whatever. But that's the only thing in my mind that could really, really, really take a super, super low or a black swan. Yeah, terrorist attack or something like that. Other than that, you know, I'm just seeing an overall pullback in the market. You know, Bitcoin is pushing back up to 42,000 right now as I speak. Um... And overall, your altcoins are just kind of hanging out. So, yes, we could get a big dump. I don't know. We could get the, your meme coin could drop 50% and Bitcoin can go back under $40,000. I think there's a CME gap at like 39.5 or something like that. But this is overall your, your typical standard Bitcoin altcoin pullback that a lot of people are freaking out about. We're talking about... 2% dumps here, 5% dumps in your big major altcoins. And people are acting like it's like, you know, we're going back bearish again. Let me see where Theta is. Oh, Faust, Theta dumped pretty hard. Theta's at 98 cents. So I don't know why Theta dumped so hard. So I guess some altcoins are dumping, you know, harder than others. But I don't know. I, I just feel like we're kind of in like a wait and see, um, a wait and see uh, holding pattern right now for these big, for Bitcoin. And like I said, the meme coins haven't even dumped all that much. You would think they would dump a lot more. Even looking at these top um, gaming coins, I mean, they're down like 5%, 6%. But over the last hour, they're up. And a lot of these gaming coins have gone up two, three, four hundred 400% in the last month. So... <clears throat> You know, I'm just not seeing that overall giant ca catastrophe dump that people are talking about. Yeah, we could get a flash crash and, and it happens. But as of right now, we're just in the same range we've been over the last couple of days and people are just freaking out. And you also have a lot of people in leverage right now, which is creating this volatility where, you know, you Cardano will go down to 56 cents, then back up to 62 cents. This is all leverage. Like here's an article, Bitcoin hovers over 41,000 as meme coin ordinals friendly clogs up blockchains. And that might be a sign of a top. I mean, you have all these ordinals, you have all these meme coins. Like we're definitely we're definitely in the cool off period. I'll give you that. But I, I guess the question is, are we in a cool off period or are we like setting up for a major, major dump? And like, I agree with, I agree with Ben Armstrong on this one. The only way we're getting a major dump is if that ETF gets, um, you know, not approved. <clears throat> And it looks like the meme coins are clogging up layers. Uh, gas fees are spiking on Ethereum and many layer one chains, such as Avalanche, as dozens of new meme coins flood the market. 
Avalanche has generated 5 million in fees over the last 24 hours, while while Ethereum, with a significantly larger market cap, has generated 13 million. Arbitrum and Optimism have also seen a large spike in gas fees during the last week. So, and another good thing about all these meme coins, it brings a lot of new people into the market. You can't deny that. And I also love to read the comments on Ben Armstrong's Twitter. Uh, here's, <laughs> here's a post from him last night. How many people get the chance I have been given? It's pretty miraculous. I've not been phased by getting kicked down to the bottom. The grind to the top was the best part. I literally get to correct every mistake I ever made. Meanwhile, cover up crypto is now Ethereum Classic, or Discover Crypto is now Ethereum Classic. But I like the replies. I replied, when I think winner, I think Ben Armstrong and Jesus. <laughs> Again, how does this moon boy have so many followers? Take care of your kids, homie. You also look bad. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Eat right and work out. Uh, you are correcting your marriage and unabandoning your children? Question <laughs> mark. He does. Get, I love that he gets so much hate. But he, like the one thing about Ben Armstrong, you can tell he just he likes the hate too. He's kind of like uh, Donald Trump in a way, like that. Like like any attention is good attention. So. Whether you're telling him he's great or he's a piece of shit, he's still he's still living it up. But you know what? I do agree with a lot of what he's saying uh, on the market. So we'll see what happens, guys. You know, we might get a self-fulfilling prophecy because of the CME gap and everybody's so bearish right now. Maybe we'll get this really quick, you know, flash down to forty thousand dollar Bitcoin, thirty nine thousand bit dollar Bitcoin, Cardano down to like you know forty eight cents, forty nine cents, something like that. But I'm just looking to buy the dips, guys. If you truly believe that 2024, with everything happening, the four-year cycles, ETF and all that, if you believe that 2024 is going to be a bullish year and make a lot of millionaires, you just got to be looking for good prices. Like I said, I mean, yesterday I bought snack and I knew it would probably go down further and now it's up. Like you just don't know and you don't want to just like risk missing out um, because you're afraid to buy when we're essentially going into a bull market. All right, guys, like and subscribe. Talk to you later.